Abu de Sheka. That's what. That's what I, I'm not talking about that person on my channel. I've never discussed him before, and I will not discuss him. I just said that because you know Abuja is shaking. Hmm? Abuja is shaking right now. I'm going to tell you more about that. Uh, hello, people. How are you doing? I want to say a big thank you to Pastor Deboye, my Jew. It's my Jew, you know. I've been I've said it a lot of time on this channel. I'm a member of Redeem. I'm proud to be a Redeemer. I can shout for men there to be a redeemer. Okay. So you've seen the video. Do I need to play it again? No. Okay, let me just let me just for the sake of um uh okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. I just want to applaud him. I want to say a big thank you to him for coming out to apologize about what he said about fighting. Uh you recall that he said I think will take you to if you don't tie go to hell simple it takes courage it takes strength it takes humility to apologize you know easy to apologize hey it's not easy it takes strength it takes courage it takes humility this is this is what we're talking about our generation this generation is different from what our own generation right back then there was no social media nothing i mean whatever you are told at home in the church that's what you take you don't even question you don't ask questions nothing these days you tell your child do this it was i asked you why <laughs> so they say this gen z they do everything they ask questions so that's why leaders should now realize that okay people will ask questions people will be challenge some things which we have seen on social media and everywhere so thank you so much daddy Gio, for doing this we we recognize that you're a humble person this is another level of humility this is another level of strength you know if he didn't apologize nothing will happen right he can just settle it with god in his closet and that will be all you know but coming out like this will set a lot of records straight. Will make I I don't know the number of people that will even give their life. Yes, that will even become born again because of this. I personally gave my life. I'm a, I'm a born Anglican, but once in a while I will go to the camp in Lagos. I will you know to Lagos service, and then one day he made an altar call, and I came out. That was it, you know. So, a lot of people will, you know, I don't know how many people will, will, will give their lives because of this. It is huge, people. It is huge. It is huge. For making a mistake. For saying that if you don't pay tight, you might not make it to heaven. I'm sorry. That's wrong. That's not in the Bible. What the Bible says is, is he has peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see God. Now, let me tell you. So, Daddy had made peace with all of us. So, Nigeria, you don't do all right? <laughs> Making us. You know, you don't do at least this has happened and we are very proud of it. I personally am very proud of him, you know, for this, this, uh, this gesture. Now, going forward, I think what we need to do in the, in the Christian dome is just to teach people how to give out of love, to give out of love. Yes, because we are... We want to say okay how do we maintain the church he went for that you see that i don't want to waste your time he went for that to say you don't even 10 percent is not even the thing you can even do more than that when you are taught how to give god no not to give god yes yes that's another thing i i, I always tell them in my in my church that you don't that phrase give to god doesn't sit well with me personally why how do you give to the God who said, 
silver and gold belong to me? How do you give to the God who said he owns the cattle on a thousand hills? How do you give to the source himself? Everything we have, he gave us in the first place. So how do you now give to that God? I think judge leader should be able to begin to pick their words when they are talking about giving. You give out of love. You give for the service. If, if, if the roof in the church is leaking and there is no money to repair it, is it God that rain will beat? No. Is it God that will be soaked with, with rain, with rain falls? No. It's not God. So you give because of his service. He, the, you can't outgive God. He gave us everything, like I said in the first place. He taught us how to give. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. If somebody can give his only begotten son, what else can he not give? So that's, that's, that's the angle pastors, church, church teachers should be looking at now. Teach people how to give, you know, from the place of love, not threatening. When you say, uh, if you, you give so that you, uh, you, can, you can be blessed, it's, it's wrong. I always say in my part, you don't like what I always say. It's wrong because God is not a money doubler. He doesn't say give so that you give. Eh. That's how people are asking. So, how about Dan Goti? He's a rich man in Africa. Uh -huh. So, thank you so much, Daddy. We love you. I saw the video that he freeze today that he actually apologized to him. I have to bring that up. I, I can't find it now. I will have, you know, play the clip of it. He actually apologized for, you know, uh, the way he spoke to him that let me say about seven years ago it, it was kind of prostrating on the video that's the kind of thing this kind of um uh thing we bring up all right so thank you so much Ali. now to abuja that is shaking right now they are afraid the pastors are afraid in abuja <laughs> because uh pastor abel damina dr abel damina said he's, he's going to start his church in Abuja and you know the implication <laughs> you know the implication of that let me allow us to watch it and then mm. let's play it yep the airport everybody i'm seeing hey dr damina dr damina you guys i don't know these people have made me a celebrity by force even though you know Everybody is snapping with me. When are you starting your church in Abuja? When are you starting your church in Abuja? It was like a song ringing in my ears. I even saw a woman with her husband. She said, I don't go to church anymore until the day your church comes to Abuja. So if I don't go to church in my life, it is because you didn't bring your church. So, you know, uh, and then I, I go to the hotel. Everywhere, all over the hotel, all the staff, everybody, all over the streets, even on the road. I stopped to buy corn, thinking this is just a corn seller. As we wind down the glass for me to collect the corn, the man looked at me and went like, Yay! I watch you, I follow you every day. I said, bring, bring the corn, take your money and go. I want up. I told the guy, let's drive off this place. <laughs> There's no hiding place for me, man. Anyway, so I got so I got so moved by all of that. And I began to pray and ask, well, what does this mean? And the Lord told me, start a church. So instead of vacation, I started pioneering a church in Abuja. We had our first service last Sunday. These are fresh new people, you know. We had our first service last Sunday, a Bible study. I had to quickly import Dr. Gabriel to Abuja to help me so that I can have him as my assistant. I didn't want to get any Abuja power citizen involved. This one is me pioneering a new work. So Dr. Gabriel came to help me. And we started that service in Grand Pella Hotel, plot 649 Cadastral Zone B02, near American International School. Last Sunday, we had a great service. Yes, anybody who had a powerful prayer cruise. And there's a service going on now. So if you live in Abuja and you've been looking for my church, move quickly to Grand Pella Hotel, plot 649, Cadastral Zone, B02, near American International School. I just wanted to say that we now got into Abuja for our vacation. And from the airport, everybody I'm seeing, hey, Dr. Damina, Dr. Damina, you guys, I don't know these people have made me a celebrity by force, even though, you know. Everybody is snapping with me. When are you starting your church in Abuja? So that's, are you that's, your that's, uh, thank you, Dr. Davida. So the phone number to call, I'm going to do a free something for him. 
because he didn't say the phone number but it's display on the screen 0816741 8661 or 0803 0803311961 so you know the implication of this a lot of people they will you know it's not it this man is not saying don't give your tithe i've had that i i've had people saying that no he didn't say don't tithe what he say what dr davina is all about is that God is not transactional. Like I just said, you don't give so that He will give you. It's not a money doubler. Mm -hmm. Give out of love. The church has to run. Don't limit yourself to, okay, uh, if I don't give, oh, hey, this is no, no. Give out of love. Yeah, just like God give, or gave us out of us. So, for God so loved the world. If you love Him, if He's your Father, you give to His service. Not to him. Without you, without your money, God, that, it doesn't, your giving doesn't change God. So you don't give to him. That's why I said, church leaders have to be careful with the choice of words. Give to God. I don't, I, I don't, I don't agree with that. You give to his service. You give out of love. You give from the place of love. So what Dr. Daniela is saying is that, Give God because you love Him, not because some you are being compelled. The Bible says, "Whatever you do out of fear, it's sin. It doesn't have any blessing. It doesn't have any blessing." God, the gospel is not about God is not bread and butter. God. That's why I was saying it when leading a session in my church a few weeks ago. That's why when people now has a little problem, they, that's why we are raising baby Christians. I said it in church. That's why, so when they now have a little problem, they say, oh God, I tied to, God, you know, I tied to. Come on now. As if God should be, I said it in church, I said, as if God should be shaking on his throne, hey, you tied to, hey. oh, I'm sorry, it is your tight. I used to buy this wine I'm drinking. People began to laugh. We are bringing, we are, we are raising baby Christians. They can't withstand anything. And anything is going on there. Christianity is not bread and butter. It's not the Bible say you we there will be tribulations. But it said be of Christ said, but be of good shape. For I have overcome the world. So as Christian, that's what develops us. Trouble will come. You face it head on, knowing what you what you have in Christ. Am I preaching? I'm not, I'm not pastor. Okay, people. So <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I love you. I'm going to talk to you again very soon. On Sunday, by the grace of God, I might do a live to discuss a prevailing issue in the church, mm -hmm. in the body of Christ. I don't want to bring the cat out of the bag right now, but I'm going to discuss it maybe through a, with a live broadcast on Sunday after service. Mm -hmm. And then, please let me know. Whatever I have, I've been announcing it, whatever topic you want us to discuss on this channel, I am making this a, a listener, a viewer's request channel. Let me know what you want us to discuss. Put it in the comment section. I will work on it. I will research on it. And I will talk. We will talk about it on this channel. Thank you so much. I love you. Go to church with your brains in touch. I always say it. Thank you. Your brains are too. I go to church. Love you. Bye-bye.